Now, we'd like to unveil a new multi-generation smart city project, which Panasonic has recently signed up for a ma as a major partner. Let's have a look at what Panasonic has next in store for the future of smart city. Thank you very much for your attention. Future Living Berlin, one of Germany's first smart city projects, focuses on a multi-generation concept planned by visionary Charles Detlef Krebs, who is well known for his worldwide exceptional projects. I'm starting always projects, if it's possible, which have a, a relevance for the society. I think uh, the kind of communication will change. I think the people will come together more closely via the communication of internet and smart home technologies. That is, in my opinion, the biggest change we are expecting. A challenge that calls for smart solutions. Panasonic is for us very important because they prove already that they have done a lot of work in the development of smart cities, of smart home and entertainment. And so we think it is really the partner for us with their experience. Berlin Adlershof is one of the most successful high technology locations in Germany and is therefore the perfect place for this smart city quarter. Due to its extensive know-how, Panasonic is involved to provide not only products, but also to contribute with their smart city expertise. Future Living Berlin is a very exciting project for us. It's not only a technological showcase, but even more important, it's a real-life development platform. The project allows us to understand the needs of the local Berlin residents. And at the same time, Future Living Berlin is a chance for us to identify and create new business models. Which means we as Panasonic offer solutions for smart homes, smart buildings and even entire smart cities. Investor of the project is GSW Siegmaringen. The real estate company creates living spaces adapted to people's age requirements. Nowadays, the technical progress has pushed the technology of living space high up on the agenda of the real estate sector. This includes barrier-free architecture, mobility concepts, individual services and technological assistance systems, all of which should make living more comfortable and people's lives easier. As a multi-generation project, Future Living Berlin demands strong technological know-how when building infrastructures within and outside the apartments. The goal is to facilitate autonomous, comfortable and ecologically conscious lifestyles. An ambitious project such as Future Living Berlin can only be realized with strong partner companies which possess the know-how and experience. It's a big honor and pleasure for me that together with Panasonic, GSV Sigmaring will realize the Future Living Berlin project while setting a significant milestone in creating intelligent buildings in Berlin Adlershof. Future Living Berlin means building the homes of tomorrow today. Wow, what an inspiring venture. So Berlin is said to be one of the first German smart city projects. That is exciting, especially as we all gathered here in the very city, my hometown. It is a great example of um, a smart city project which is on its way to bringing a better and smarter life to its residents through multi-generational concepts. Ladies and gentlemen, to tell you more about Future Living Berlin, I have invited several um, experts, some of whom you will recognize from the video just now, and by them I mean Mr. Markus Weikum, General Manager at GSW, the investment company for Future Living Berlin, as well as Mr. Klaus Dertlef Krebs, the owner of the development company on the names of Krebs UGK, and finally Christian Soksevich, is Managing Director of for Panasonic Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Welcome to the stage. Thanks, gentlemen, for joining us. Um, aside from our experts, we have uh, taken um, to the streets across Europe to ask people what their wishes are for future living. Let's when I will be at the age of 80, I hope that um, in healthcare there will be such a solutions that you can easy uh, that they can easily help me from far away, 
when something uh, happens? I don't want uh, technology to look after all people. I want us to mix and maybe to find some things we can, in which we can gather because now all people will be able to, to use computers and other things. So I'm a person from the streets and now my question is to you, Mr. Wacom. In what ways do you see Future Living Berlin delivering benefits to society? There is an aging population and changes in the cost of energy and rents mean we must create a better solution to these challenges. Connected smart home technologies are opening up new opportunities for people to come together without barriers of any kind. And Mr. Krebs, what was your main purpose when founding this project? I have always been interested in people's social interaction and we are carrying out this project because we want to bring young, uh, old and young people together. We want to give them each the support they need as well as the ability to communicate with each other. The multi-generation project should also allow older people to stay in their own apartment for as long as possible. And we give them this choice through the smart home technology and services we offer within this project. Thank you. And so we talked about the social benefits, but what impact does it have on security? Let's first hear what people have to say on this subject. I think that security is pretty important. And obviously more in Mexico. So I'm not saying that it is pretty secure, but uh, you feel more comfortable and, and you feel secure. If you have a camera, for example, if you have an app and, and you're traveling right back like me, and I could say, okay, my house is okay. Peace of mind and feeling safe are big subjects nowadays. But what also can you use smart technologies that will give generations their comfort through automation and remotely controlled services? So my question towards you, Mr. Krebs, what are your ideas to achieve safe, secure, and autonomous living in Future Living Berlin? And what technologies do you have in mind to enable such a peaceful way of life? Okay, smart access technologies are another important part of these apartments. We want people at every age to live comfortably and without worry. Such peace of mind gives them the opportunity to dedicate time to each other rather to potential threats. We are facilitating this by providing smart functions um, that allow for greater comfort through automation and remotely controlled services. And Mr. Sakshavis, how can Panasonic help for that matter? Well, Panasonic is very well known for its audiovisual and home appliance products. Most of them are already smart and uh, connected, so that naturally they will interact as main interface towards the residents in the project. Safety concepts in smart cities is an area where we can adapt our experience from Fujisawa. Monitoring technologies such as facial recognition patterns and software features for video analysis are important elements that will help people to live peacefully and feel protected together. We will support Future Living Berlin uh, with access to connected smart home technologies, with, uh, which all of them are easily managed from your smartphone, your TV, or are fully automated. So smart home sensors, video analysis software, and additional services like those we offer in cooperation with Allianz Assist make the life much more enjoyable for the residents. Well, it's really good to see that you're thinking um, really after the residents without compromising our comfort or freedom. However, the question and comments we receive most are concerning energy and green sustainable living. So let's see what people think a sustainable future should look like. I think all this sort of giving the, you know, the children uh, an idea of why we have to work for the future, it will have a better impact because right now we can see the resources that we're using, we clearly are not on the best way. Also, environment is important. Oh. So I think if we further develop batteries and having just sustained the energy longer and being a lot faster to charge, to charge that that would be the, uh, the solution to lots of problems we have right now. I think that we have to, to invest more in, in that kind of uh, renewal um, systems. Giving children, uh, children an understanding of the scarcity of the world's resources is clearly vital. Some great examples are through increasing the use of renewable energy instead of non-renewables and using batteries to store this energy. So my question towards Mr. Wycombe, when it comes to investments in future living Berlin, 
How do you invest in green energy and what is your approach to it? It's essential the project is sustainable on a long-term basis, both to protect future generations and make living more affordable for residents of all ages. We must all reduce our carbon footprint and usage of energy are key aspects to this. We are talking here about renewable energy so photovoltaic, but this wouldn't help us at night. We also need to be able to store the energy in batteries for the evening and night time. And people in future living in Berlin need to be able to see their consumption so they can be aware of where they can save energy. But isn't this uh, an area where Panasonic can contribute a lot, Mr. Saksovic? Indeed, Ener energy management is a very important uh, pillar and very fundamental. The local energy and utility company and we as Panasonic, we have developed a holistic solution. Concretely, it means that the, using the uh, photovoltaic panels on the roofs, the campus is acting like a power plant and overcapacity can be stored in the batteries or even sold back into the grid. At the same time, our uh, our heat pumps will provide better room climate control and huge energy savings for the residents. Panasonic's Aquaria heat pump provides 78% uh, savings on heating expenses compared to conventional electric heaters. The benefits for the residents of such an energy management system are very clear. The footprint on carbon and also the energy cost are clearly reduced. Well, so, so far it looks like, gentlemen, you can make this happen very soon, and it's really good to hear that smart cities are truly becoming a reality. We have yet to explore my favorite theme, though, and that's the future technologies and cool gadgets in my home, and I personally hate wasting my time with laundry after that. First, let's see what the public said about what they love in their homes. I can imagine just uh, one big uh, equipment uh, or just one screen to control everything in the house. Smart functions like maybe a remote that controls different access like air, air con, TV, uh, kitchen stuff. Uh, a wall uh, that's a TV uh, for example. Um, I have to say, uh, well, a TV on. They have the same problems as I do. So Mr. Sotsovich, how does Panasonic and its latest technologies help provide a better living environment? In, vid in the video, it was very often mentioned that multifunctional screen is required. In that respect, you will see later on our booth our transparent screen. We have actually shown this to uh, dealers previously to the IFA and gained uh, a lot of interest. Uh, the one here at the IFA is a transparent OLED display and absolutely want to look out for it. It can work as a, uh, as a personal content hub, your energy control system, or even as a TV. Uh, we really have to see that later because I've seen the prototype, it's quite amazing. But before we come to the end of our Future Living Berlin talk, let's ask for our last time our people on the street. Before um, that, I would like to say thank you, Mr. Weikom and Mr. Capes, a lot for coming and for the fantastic news he brought with you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, watch this space of these. My house in the future really would be like um, that we don't have to do a lot anymore. I really uh, want a better life for everyone and a better, but well, I don't know if that's possible, but that would be very nice.